So I see this comment when it was posted yesterday and I thought to myself, right, when I get time, let me respond to it. So what I do is when I see certain comments that I want to respond to, I screenshot them and then circle them and then put them into a folder in my phone and then I just go through them when I get a chance and respond to them. So this was posted yesterday. I hear that, G, I'm in uni, but I'm dropping out to do construction now. So that was posted yesterday. And then today, someone come underneath that comment and said, you've made the right choice, bro. And I thought, right, I need to respond to this comment ASAP so I can save this guy from himself. What this guy is doing is textbook what every fucking you is doing nowadays and has been doing since the beginning of Ras Clark time. He's flip-flopping. Do you know how much man I've met? Now, I don't know how new this individual is to my channel and maybe you watching this, but I've spoken about this many times before. Do you know how much man I've met who, they could have been an electrician, but they decided that they couldn't be bothered to do an apprenticeship or they dropped out of college and that. And do you know what they're doing now? They're working in Tesco's or they're doing, uh, they're working for Sky, Virgin, doing some idiot look or shadow on a man for six months and that. Or they're working for all old glass. Sorry about the noise, I've got my washing machine going in the background and that. They're just flip-flopping from one thing to another. I promise you, I guarantee you, this guy here, if he drops out of uni, because what he's actually doing is because obviously he's responded to the, the comment because I asked him, what are you doing? Um, if he drops at a uni and he decides not to continue with his computer engineering science degree and that, yeah, he might do a trade in construction and that, but I guarantee he's not going to finish it. He's not going to finish it. He said that he doesn't want to do the um, he doesn't want to do the computer engineering science thing because he doesn't like it and that. But like, let me explain something to you right now. There's always going to be something about the job or the field that you're in that you don't like. Okay, let's say you drop out of computer engineering science and you become an electrician and that. Let's say you enjoy being an electrician, but then you might have some asshole manager. Let's say you enjoy being an electrician and you have a good manager. You might be on a shit contract. Now, obviously, you can swap on that. What I'm saying is nothing's perfect, rude boy. If you're smart enough to get into uni and do the computer engineering science degree, you need to fucking do that. Let me give you a little incentive for working in, uh, sorry, studying the computer engineering science degree. Big up, Bridget Benga. This guy is on big money. He is uh, like a uh, cyber security engineer, something like that, cyber security or something like that. Man's on big money. Yeah, big money. He's probably on 10 grand a month easily. Yeah, he's on big money. You ain't going to get that working in construction, rude boy. Now, I'm not saying that if you ain't on 10 grand a month, you, you can't live. But what I'm saying is, I'm an electrician, I'm an electrical tester and I earn about six grand a month. Wouldn't you prefer to be in a field where you could potentially earn 10 grand a month? Don't get it twisted. You ain't just going to become a computer engineer in science. Uh, you, you ain't just going to become a software engineer or whatever and, that, and then be on that straight away. But what I'm saying is, you can progress to that. You have to be ambitious. You lot need to stop flip-flopping from one thing to another. So, we'll see. Big man, you're watching this right now, yeah? I beg you just continue with your studies and that. I've met too much use. I've even done little one-to-one -one mentoring sessions with youths and that. And the guy talking about, yeah, I just want to move uni and that. I'm saying, why? He, he, he's in, like, let's say, Coventry Uni. He wants to move to Norwich and that. He's ah, oh, the uni's kind of dead. I'm like, fam, that is not a good enough excuse to move uni because it's dead. You need to move uni... You shouldn't be moving uni, sorry. You should be f continuing your studies and that. Yeah, finish what you ask class start. So, any lot watching this right now thinking about dropping out of this course or that course and that, you need to stop. Yeah, you need to continue what you're doing. Don't be dropping out of courses. And I met so much, man. No man my age. One minute they're doing fucking sports science, then they're going to do accounting. Now I'll fuck accounting, now I'm going to do electrical. Ah, oh, the maths is too hard and that as well as accounting. Fuck it, I'll go and do carpentry. And not complete nothing. Honestly, this is why, yeah, uh, young men need fathers in their life. They need men in their life to guide them and tell them, no, you're going to stick to this and you're going to complete this. How many of you men watching this right now, yeah, used to do football training? How many of you men watching this right now could have been a boxer and that? But you just don't know how to continue things that you start. You don't know how to finish things that you start. Anyway, man, the choice is yours, isn't it? But if I was you, I would continue with your computer engineering science um, degree, yeah? Because at the end of the day, yeah, it don't matter what 
course you do and if you don't have ambition that you're not going to make no money anyway